Hi, welcome back. This is Mark. And today, we're going to talk about the two modes that are available in Packet Tracer. So the two modes that we're going to talk about is are these, the ones on the bottom right. And as you can see have here, the real time and the simulation mode. Okay, this would come in handy, especially if we're trying to test connectivity between devices. Okay, so real time and the simulation mode. Now here in the real time is the actual um, setup. Say for example, we're going to check connectivity between 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 two computers, a PC one and PC two or PC two and PC three. Let's put the label of with their IP address one eight one six eight that one dot eleven, and the other one is one eight one six eight one dot twelve. And also we're going to add a switch and we're going to connect it. Now we're going to configure their IP addresses. So here, desktop and the IP address. This is 11, right? This one is 11. Mm -hmm. 192, okay. 192.168.1.11. That's right. So oh, we also have to correct this to avoid confusion. And this one also that we have it as well. So this is set up. The other one is we're going to set it up now. And this is supposed to be 12. There, we have it all set up and we're going to connect it with a straight through cable. Pass Ethernet, we're going to connect it to port 1 of the switch. Pass Ethernet port and port 2 of the switch. Let's wait for it to turn green. Okay. Now here we have it all set up. And remember, we're, we are in the real-time mode. And to test it in real-time, if you could still remember what we did was... Okay, what we're trying to do now is to check connectivity between the two PCs connected to one switch. So how did we do it? Okay, we did it using the ping command in this tool. Okay, command prompt, and then we ping the IP address of the other computer. Ping 192.168.1. It's 12. Okay, so we have we have a reply that means there's communication between the two computers. Okay, so that's good already, and uh, that's in the real time mode. So another way of testing communication between those devices is using the simulation mode so this is the simulation mode and here in the simulation mode what you can see is um, say for example I'm going to click on uh, there are two ways of doing this let me just uh, make it bigger there okay so uh, we can use the PDU. This is simple PDU and this is uh, complex PDU. So the first that we're going to use is the simple PDU. PDU stands for protocol data units. Okay. And uh, samples of protocol data units are the following. Let me just make this bigger. Okay, so here you see, I've selected the protocol data unit. This one, the simple PDU. And then as you can see here, the buttons, there's back, auto capture, and play, capture forward. This panel here will show the activity. So in what we did with the PCP IP, with the ping 192.168.1.12, is actually we use the uh, ICMP. ICMP protocol okay okay so what is ICMP ICMP is internet 
control message protocol. And that is the protocol that is used when we transmit a ping command from one device to another. So, to check out the protocols that are available for the simulation is we click on the show all and then these are the ones that are available. So, as you can see, there's a lot of packet protocols okay that can be used depending on what we need to do okay so you can also click on show all or show none and to check that say for example it's everything is shown so when you click on edit filters so you can see here on ipv4 which is the one that we're using okay all the protocols are checked same for IPv6, even if we're not using IPv6 in the IP configuration, because the IP configuration that we use is the 192.168. It's a 4 octet configuration. It's IPv4, okay? And then same with miscellaneous, everything is checked. So when we use this type of configuration where everything is checked, it's not gonna be very comprehensive okay on our level to understand all of it so the better thing to do is just select the ones that we we will really be needing and that is using the ICMP or internet control message protocol which is used by the ping command and that is what we're trying to do okay so again since everything is checked, we need to uncheck everything. And to do that, uh, in just with just one click, we can uncheck all of that by clicking on this. Okay, so when we go back to edit filters, everything is unchecked already. So all we need to do is just check on the ICMP because this is the one that we need for ping. Okay, so ICMP. Okay, so... Uh, as you can see here in the event list, this is only select the ICMP is the one that's selected. Okay, so what's the next step? After doing that, we can now click on this and then click from one one device to another because these are the devices that, that we not we need to verify if there's connectivity. So again, uh, click on the simple PDU and then click here and then click on the other device and then as you can see here on the event list it has been initiated okay so at the device 192.168.11 so time is 00 and then next is what you can do is you can do it step by step by clicking capture forward capture forward capture forward or you can do it once by auto capture and play but before we do that you also need to check here below here is what's very important because this is where we check if what we did was successful or failed okay so watch out for this okay as I click this or this one so let's try first with the capture forward it's going to be step by step and you also check the envelope here that is shown the so capture forward as you can see it went to the switch okay the icmp pdu went to the switch okay yes you can see here this is still in progress and then next again there now it went to the 192.168.1.12 okay and then next capture forward it went back to the switch okay and then capture forward again as you can see there's the last status now is successful that means and then you can also see the check mark on the envelope that means we have a successful communication between two devices okay so and it's very comprehensive here in the simulation panel where we saw the from device to device so it started with this 192.1.11 device and then switch and then 12 and then switch and then 11 so what happened was there was an acknowledgement from the the 
the one who sent the signal that the the message has been received or communication was successful okay so that is using the capture forward let's try to do the auto capture now okay so there's another way of doing that so i'm going to delete this delete so we will try it again but now we're going to use the auto capture but same process we click on the add simple pdu or add simple protocol data unit we don't need to click anymore here on the filters anymore because this is we did not change anything it's still icmp so i click on add simple pdu and then click here let's do the other end from 12 to 11. click here and then here so as you can see that at the device it started with the 192.168.1.12 now next is we just click on auto capture play as you can see it is being simulated so from switch so switch one now and then it went to, to 192.1.11 here and then went back to the switch check also the status and finally it came back to 192.1.12 and as you can see there's a check sign on the envelope and the last status is successful okay so that is using um, simulation mode okay and as you can see here there's a very very good um, interface where we can see everything that's what's going on during the transmission of the signal which is the icmp okay compared to the one with the what we did with ping is we just we were just waiting for the reply okay but with this you can see other details aside from just waiting for the reply another that i'd like to show you is uh, say for example we send this to this one here and then auto capture I'd like to show you what happens also aside from the, the event list there's actually more to that because we can also click on the information here on the right side okay as it goes okay so let's just wait for this to become successful and then end there successful now what you can do is also check on the info here click here so uh, this means this is the first from 11 okay this is 11 remember then let's click this so as you can see here there's a uh, information let me just pull that out again there we can see another information where Okay, let me just click this one this is the part where the first as you can see um, this is the from 11 okay so you are now in the check we're, we're in the OSI model and in our lecture in the OSI model remember there are seven layers seven six five four three two one from the application layer presentation layer and so on and so forth up to the physical layer so here the highlighted part is layer 3 that means when it started when it started it checked on the ip addresses so from source which is srcip 192.168.1.11 destination is 12 so icmp message type okay so if you click on the outbound pdu details this is also familiar because we have discussed this okay um in the lecture sorry we need to put that back we need to pull this out so that you can see okay so this is the uh product protocol data units details okay so IP address, ICMP, okay. So the IP address and uh, and so on and so forth. I won't be able to discuss all of this now. So just check on your lecture on the details of the IP 
information okay or and uh, the other information such as this the mac address source address okay as, as uh, another thing that you need to notice is the mac address of the destination is displayed here and the source mac address is also this uh, shown here remember the difference between mac address and ip address is that the mac address you cannot change the mac address because it's like the id id or the identification of the hardware okay that's a mac address so it wherever you put that computer or that device it will have the same mac address all throughout it will never change because it's the id of the of the device but for the ip addresses you can just change it as what we did earlier we can change it to whatever ip address we need depending on the requirement because that's why that's why we call it logical address because you can just change it depending on the situation not like the mac address it's a physical address it's like the id of the hardware okay so this is the outbound remember outbound because it's originating from one from the first okay it's the the source okay so that is the PD information and and as you go on you will all be all also be able to see and check uh, where what part of the OSI model is active from as we click on from one uh, information to the other and I want you to also notice if we click on the switch okay uh, the layers of input and output are present because we are we click on the switch that means and and which also shows to us that they the switch is connected to the two devices you have the input pdu and the out in inbound pdu and the outbound pdu details okay so same goes here you have the input and the output not like if we click on the first device or the last device you'll only see the inbound or it may be the outbound and only one part is active the other one is active because it's not directly connected to the other computer but it is connected to the switch okay so i hope this piece of information would really help you understand what goes on around in the network during transmission and re and transmission and the receiving part of the data where you can see a lot of information and this is using the simulation mode okay so um this is very important part of the packet tracer because we can actually get a lot of information out of this simulation panel okay so i hope you understood and learned a lot out of this lesson and um be, would be able and i hope you'd be able to apply it during the laboratory activities so thank you so much guys for your time Thank you for joining. Have a nice day. Bye.